What's up, guys? Yeah, I'm making this video today for truck mover drivers, and the, the video is about uh, their app that you have. And I've been having troubles with the app, in which uh, what's been going on is a lot of other truck mover drivers they don't know how or they're too lazy to do the counter offer okay so the counter offer is basically this you get an offer okay you go in and you click on whatever offer that you like then it tells the pickup location the drop off location the amount the miles all the details the phone numbers of pickup drop off and then beneath all that down towards the bottom of the offer it shows the part in which you counter offer all you gotta do hit the button counter offer alright so then you take and you put in I'm gonna give you a suggestion I always put in at least eighty to a hundred dollars which I rarely ever get and so I put that in and then uh, I put the the date and approximately the time that I'm gonna pick it up and the date and time that I'm gonna drop it off and then beneath that send them a message put tolls or motel or fuel or port of entry or even thanks or put okay and then you hit send or submit or whatever you hit at the very very bottom and it's that easy let me explain why I'm irritated with this whole situation okay so I've been sending in these offers and I've been getting back zero 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 and I always at least get you know twenty dollars thirty dollars forty dollars fifty dollars something you know I'm getting these zeros so I'm getting frustrated so I get a hold of my dispatcher I'm like hey what's going on here why do I keep getting all these zeros you know I'm getting kicked in the nuts on this they're like oh well uh, other drivers will take it just at the flat rate and I'm like what they're losing out on twenty thirty fifty dollars per load I'm like no way and she's like yeah all day long right and left and I'm like you know how much money that adds up to be that's like a hundred and fifty two hundred fifty dollars a month if you're you know hustling or it could even be more you know you're missing out on so if you don't think that you're not making enough at truck movers well hey start doing a little counter offers man that to help everyone out and especially help out you because if you start doing the counter offers then that makes the price of a load go up and then guess what when I do my counter offer, I might get 30, 40, 45, 25, 27, 52, something other than zero. So basically, that's my rant of the day. I am west of Nashville, north of Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, on a highway. I'm cutting over to uh, Memphis, Tennessee right now. So. That was that. And let me talk about one more point that I want to talk about is tow vehicles. Okay, I had someone ask me, will a Chevy Blazer be a good tow vehicle? And I messaged them back. I'm like, the road will beat that thing to death. Okay? And the reason I say that is I have found... Because I have had many, many tow vehicles over the years. I have found that the Toyota and the Honda seem to hold up the best. 
I don't know why. I don't know if they take pride in their work when they're building it. I don't know if their assembly line is a, a scooch slower than American assembly lines. I don't know. But the bitches, they hold up better. This uh, Honda that I'm in right now, I call it Honda One. Last year, I put 62,000 miles on this tr this vehicle, driving it. I don't even know how many miles it's been towed. So, I mean, I've towed it down a lot of highways, I can't say all, of the United States. And everybody knows that these highways in the U.S. just beat the living hell out of vehicles. So, and my, my Honda, it still runs perfect. It doesn't use any oil. I mean... It needs new tires now because originally I put tires, brand new tires on it when I started using it. And I put Walmart tires on it, which you're only supposed to get about 55,000 miles out of the Walmart tires I used. I used those Douglas tires and the, uh, what was it, the uh, uh, Goodyear Viva 2, I think that's what it's called, from Walmart. That's like supposedly one grade up from the... Uh, <coughs> the uh, Douglas tire, which it's right there with the Douglas tire. I measured the depth of the wear. Uh, I'm starting to pull off these tires one by one and replace them with another style of tire from Walmart. And I know y'all are like, oh, well, you get what you buy at Walmart. I'm like, yeah, I know. But, you know, who, whatever. So I, I buy cheap tires. I jam them on here. I like a new tire every year. That's just how I am. So anyway, I got the uh, the Goodyear tire as my spare on the back. I changed it out with a new tire. And the Goodyear tire pretty much did worse than the uh, Douglas tire. And I bought two style of tires because I wanted to run them against one another on the same vehicle to see which one would do better. And the Goodyear, uh, I'll give it two thumbs down because 400 miles into its, uh, its uh, life, it got a hole in the tire. I mean, I was just turning around on a parking lot, and it's like down, 400 miles. So brand new tire, 400 miles, not a good sign. And it was the first one to come off of this vehicle. And that's bad. Not because of a tire plug. It's because the thing was just worn the hell out. So, anyway, what I do, I change out one tire a week until I got all five brand new tires. So, that's my plan for my, my tire situation. And then I have another Honda since the weather's starting to warm up and I'm getting a little bit more free time. I'm going to start getting that Honda up and going. And, I mean, it runs, drives, but I'm going to do a lot of extensive work to it because I want a, uh, a unique tow vehicle that will really help me do my job easier. And so, uh, back to tow vehicles. I would suggest if somebody is getting into this type of business... Uh, there's, there's a few tow vehicles that I've used over the years and was, was like, you know, I, I, I liked. All right. So my first, my very, very first tow vehicle I ever had was a Honda Civic wagon. And let me tell you, that's car. I drug that bitch all over the United States and it, uh, I think it was like an 85, if I remember right. It was in the 80s for sure. But that car was basically bulletproof. And what was funny about it, the thing was so ugly, I could leave the keys in it in L.A. <laughs> and nobody would steal it. Nobody would get in it. It looked like a homeless person's car because I had giant big old rust holes in it. It was like a green faded color with the... the the clear coat peeling off and I had big old rust holes and dents and it was a hunk of crap. But I tell you what, that bitch, I kept that oil change, air filter change, and it was a running son of a gun. It would get it. It was a stick shift. And so I liked that. And 
I like the uh, I had a Ford Ranger once, and I ended up liking that one, and I, t I had to tow it on a tow dolly because it's an automatic, and I didn't want to pull the drive shaft, and I didn't want to get a quick uh, uh, disconnect. I didn't want to mess with that because uh, back then those was like four, four, five, six hundred dollars to get one of those made. So, and then another vehicle I had that I liked uh, was it was a Toyota Corolla wagon. I liked it. It was a stick shift and really, really liked it. I had a uh, Saturn wagon that made me money, but I did not like that because the uh, every time I filled the tank up, I had to dump one quart of oil in the uh, in the motor. It was almost on the verge of being a two-cycle vehicle. So, what else? Let's see. I'm going down the list. I got so many vehicles. Um, I like the Honda products. I had a Toyota truck once. It was a 90s uh, Toyota truck, two-wheel drive, extended cab, blue, long bed. And... <laughs> I ended up uh, leaving that on the side of the road up in Minnesota. Uh, what happened was it had so many miles on it, the transmission just exploded in the thing. And I was driving it. I mean, it, it just had it had 380-something thousand miles on it. Transmission just exploded. And so uh, I called one of my kids up. They brought another one of my vehicles up. I pulled the back tires off of it because I had brand new tires and dropped it on concrete blocks, uh, stripped everything down on the vehicle, pulled the car battery, left the vehicle on the side of the road. It had the 30 V6 in it. So I, that was kind of a shame. I left the title laying in the seat. I signed it and said free. That's how I got rid of that one. So uh, what else? Uh, I Oh, I was in... To Toyota 4Runners, 1980s Toyota 4Runners there for a minute. And I had two Toyota 4Runners. They were stick shift, four-wheel drives. Had the 22 RE motors in it. And, you know, they had that removable top and stuff. That was a difficult vehicle to work out of because it was a two-door. And that back glass, they're like... They never really work right. The tracks on those, they, t they tend to rust out. And uh, the glass will fall down into the back door. Then you start sucking up that exhaust. So my exhaust on one of them uh, basically fell apart. And I took and straight piped it with no Cadillac converter, no muffler. Boy, that was a mistake. It sounded, oh, it was horrible sounding. I mean, it was just like, blah, all the way down the road. I had to wear earplugs. Because it was just so god awful loud. And I had no air conditioning in either one of those. And I got up in Chicago and the, <laughs> the cops pulled me over. Just because my vehicle looked so trashy. And uh, it was so loud. I mean, it was just horrible loud. Okay, so I, got a, I ended up getting a ticket on that. But uh, they were straight up douchebag cops. Alright, so... Let's see, uh, I had that full-size F-250 I called Plan B. That was a disaster of a situation. Then I had three uh, Ford vans. I had, a, uh, what was it, an E-150 and two E-250s. And those worked out pretty good. I used to pull the drive shaft. I had a full-length bed in there, microwave, air conditioner. It was pretty much like a camper. I had a generator. I had all kinds of crap. But they were real heavy vehicles, and <coughs> they were uh, gas hogs. And in the snow, they were pretty scary. Uh, let's see. Uh... I, I'm into the Hondas right now. I had a Nissan Versa that had a lot of coil pack problems, and the frame was like super thin on that. That got 
rear-ended by a drunk driver last uh, February. Destroyed that vehicle. I'll never buy another one because they're just basically shit. They're junk. And I, I like Nissan, but I don't like Nissan for a tow vehicle. But, I mean, the Nissan pickups, the older ones, would probably be a good vehicle. But they suggest that you don't get the uh, transmission over 60 miles an hour. So, pretty much anything I like is older. And, you know, it's not a new vehicle that I'm making car payments on. Because I did that once at Nissan Versa. And I totally got the shaft on the entire situation on that thing. I'm not going to get into it. But uh, I'll never buy a tow vehicle and put it out on the road and make a car payment on it. So the one I'm in right now, originally, I bought it for uh, $500. And it had a blown transmission in it. So I ended up doing a lot. Of work to this thing to get it up and going thousands of dollars worth but I still saved you know a lot of money by not making a car payment and you know I'm not a rich type person I've never been a person that had a lot of money so uh, my buddy calls it uh, poor man shit that's the type of stuff I do so you know pretty much anything I do I think like a poor man because I don't know any better. So I'll buy a vehicle that needs a transmission and drop a $1,500 transmission in it. Now I got a $2,000 vehicle that's worth five, you know, five grand. And so, I mean, it might take me three months to do all that, but hey, I've, I've saved, you know, a lot of money. I don't have a car payment. I'm not losing all that in on interest. And, a lot of times I have found on Facebook Marketplace in the southern part of the United States, like around Arizona, anywhere that you think a older person is going to retire or want to uh, take their motor home or whatnot, you could probably find a vehicle set up ready to go for towing. So, I mean, that's another option. And... Well, I don't want to make a long video, and this this video ended up being a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I'm going to let you guys go, and I hope you guys get out there and make some damn money, and please, whatever you do, if you work for truck movers, counter offer, put anything, put 50 70 $65, whatever, man, just counter offer. <laughs> 